kiddos, Miss K here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create nature mandalas inspired by artist Annie Goldsworthy and James Brunt, who both use natural elements and arrange them into aesthetically pleasing repetitious patterns out in nature. To make a nature inspired mandala, You'll need to collect items like flowers, sticks, leaves, rocks, pebbles, blades of grass, pine cones, etc. I happen to have flowers that were starting to wilt, so they were perfect for making a mandala. But you could always take a nice nature walk to find your items. Make sure you ask permission to cut flowers and that you're taking leaves from the ground, not ripping ones off tree branches. If you're unable to collect items from outside, you can make a mandala using any item from home that you have multiples of. Let's get started. As you can see, I took my items outside to my back patio and will be creating my mandala on the paving stones. It was too windy to make my mandala on the sidewalk in front of my house, so instead my dog Thor and I enjoyed the sun and created our mandala out back. You'll want to start off by organizing your collection of items. This could be by size, by color, if you're using natural items, you might want to pull apart leaves from stems and petals from a flower to create more repetition in your work using smaller pieces. place your items, remember to keep in mind the symmetry of your design. Symmetry is the quality of being made of exactly similar parts facing each other around an axis. This means if I place one item on one side, a similar item should complement it on the opposite side. Creating a mandala is a great activity to practice mindfulness due to its tranquil nature and repetitive qualities. It was quite relaxing and meditative to sit out in the sun and breeze and create art with flowers, as it helped to quiet the loud in my head during this stressful time. The term mandala is Sanskrit for circle and is a geometric design that holds a great deal of symbolism in many cultures and religions. mandala done. These are some other flower designs inspired by mandalas I created in 2016 for a local greenhouse as their graphic designer. If you want to learn more about mandalas, I always show my students the beautiful sand mandalas made by Tibetan monks. These detailed mandalas are made with colored sand and crushed marble, and once complete, are then returned to the earth and destroyed by their creators. Here's a peek at the hallway leading to the art room at Lakeland, which currently features 7th grade watercolor mandalas. K-12 
can you believe these designs are actually created with the letters of their name? Remember I mentioned earlier that you could create your mandala using items you find around the house? That's exactly what art educator Don Massey had his students do. Check out what they came up with. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and that it inspires you to make a mandala of your own. Perhaps you can ask your parents to take you out on a nature walk to collect your items. Or maybe you can all take a scavenger hunt around the house to find fun things to use. Whatever you choose to create, I hope you are able to find some tranquility and joy in your art making. Remember, creativity isn't canceled. Thank you.